Let me get started. Look at somebody. I, I know y'all got testimonies. Look at somebody and say, I'm going to keep my testimony. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get started right away. Now, Jesus, we thank you. Come on, y'all here? Thank you for your presence. We love you. Put your hand on your, 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 your heart. And I say, say this heart. It's going to see. It's going to see. And this life, this life is going to show. In Jesus' name. Amen. God gave me a message today. And the, the title of my message, I have a title for my message. And it's called The Way of Faith. The Way of Faith. And I, I um, go real quick to... Exodus chapter 6. I might want to look at it in this big, large, giant Bible here. I don't want to have time. Exodus 6 verses 2 and 3 says this. And God spake. Watch this. And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, by the name of God Almighty, but by my name Jehovah was I not known to them. God said when I was dealing with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I was God Almighty, El Shaddai. But by my name, Jehovah, I was not known to them. And the name of Jehovah is the personal name of God. God that reveals himself. It's important that you stay with me in the beginning. When he was with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he said, I'm just God. I'm going to fix everything. I'm going to do everything. I don't, I'm not even concerned about you. It's all about me. I'm El Shaddai. It's like, you know, one of the, the translations of the meaning of El Shaddai is the many-breasted one. Yeah. You know, and it's like a, a mother. A mother doesn't care. She grabs that baby, could be on the train, could be brought in market. I'm El Shaddai. Yeah. She strapped that baby on the mammary, and the baby's eating, and the baby's going to survive because the mother says, I don't care what other people think. You're going to make it. Yeah. That is your El Shaddai. He's not concerned about anybody else, what they think about him, what they think about you. He is your El Shaddai. But there comes a time where he has to show you he is also your Jehovah, your personal God, your personal Lord and Savior, whereby you develop a relationship with him. When you look at Abraham, right, he, he called, he, Abraham was a moon worshiper, and he told him, come out. Abraham didn't do anything. Come out and I will show you. And he followed. Abraham had El Shaddai. Isaac, same thing. Uh, your father listened to me. Now you come. I'll give you something. Jacob, same thing. There's a point in your life where God Almighty kicks in in your life. Yes. And you need to understand that way. Yes. 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 Somebody say that's, that's a way. Now, I don't mean to prophesy, but y'all pray for this phone because I got it on a three second shutdown. <laughs> and so when you're dealing with God, he says, by my name, Jehovah, was I not known to them. And when you look at the children of Israel, let me, let me, let me find it. It's in Psalms. Let's go to Psalm 103, verse 7. By the time you get there, I'm going to read it anyhow. When you get it, say amen. When, when you start looking, at least say amen. Look what he says. In Psalm 103, verse 7. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. There's a time period where you're going to know God's ways and you're going to know his acts. There are so many people that don't know God's ways and they're blaming these acts on him. They're blaming God for airplanes fall, crashing. They're blaming God by children dying and, and, and going to heaven. They said, well, God needed another uh, flower in his garden. You don't know his ways, so you definitely don't know his acts. Amen. Come on. Amen. 
Amen. See, when you know God's ways, you'll know his acts. Amen. Amen. You see, and he told Moses, he said, he said, and he made his known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. And the children of Israel always were in a, a contemptuous relationship with God because they did not know his ways. Amen. Even though he showed them his acts. We have to get to a place where we're, we're, we're in a place where we know both his ways and his acts. And we're not moved by his acts because we're more concerned about his ways. The Bible says when a man's ways please the Lord, he'll make even his enemies act right. And you know, and, and, you know just, just you're gonna, somebody said we're being patient with him today. Well, from from looks of this, I'm almost done. <laughs> Isaiah 42, 16 says this. Because when you're dealing with God, you know, the way, the acts, you know, in Isaiah 42, 16 says this, and I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. When you are in a dark situation, seeming to be blind, God said, I'm going to make a way for the blind. If it's, cr if it's crooked, I'm going to make it straight. If it's dark, I'm going to make it light. I'm not going to forsake them. Because what happens is, and this is your part, it's the way of faith. We have to stay connected to him. Not using fear as a resource. Not trying to get people to feel sorry for you. Self-pity as a resource. Well, you know, you, you, you remember uh, the children of Israel were uh, in captivity and a man had a, uh, he was guarding the gate and they said, how are all these people going to get fed? And he said, well, if God opened up the window of heaven, that's the only way that's going to happen. And the prophet said, he's going to do it, but you won't see it. Whoa. And then the next, and during the course of the battle, the children of Israel, uh, God scared their enemies and they left all the spoils of the people. And when it was time to share, they broke the door down and stomped that man to death. Yeah. Don't rely on fear. Yeah. Don't let fear make your mouth write a check that you don't want your body to cash. Yeah. It is the way of faith. Yeah. Come on. Come on. The Shunammite woman, she didn't ask for that child. The man of God gave me this child, but he's dead. It is well. well, well. And no funeral here. Right. It's the way of faith. Somebody say, I'm using the way of faith. Yes. It is the time when we continue to please God. Yes. Much this. I wrote a definition. I had the right definitions. The word way means road path, course, or manner. It's a method, a style, or a manner of doing something. A style, a course, a road, a way, I mean uh, a manner. So when you, when you know the way, see, you know the course. You know when you go to a real nice restaurant, they feed you by course. They know the way to satisfy you fully. Come on. So they know to give you the uh, salad and this and then the main course. And by the time you're finished, you are satisfied. The reason why I'm trying to tell you that is because one of the definitions of the word prosper, it means to, it's to cause to pass. When you prosper, you pass. You go from one point to the next point as a pass. And it's to have a happy or a successful journey. 
Whenever you have prospered in something, it's a happy ending to a journey. If it's in finances, a happy ending journey in finances is wealth. So you follow what I'm saying? So when you're looking at the way, if you follow the way, it lends to prosperity. And you don't want to look at prosperity as money. You want to look at prosperity as the successful end to my journey. How was your journey? Very prosperous. I succeeded. I passed. When you're taking a test, there's a course. Right? They put you on a course. You learn the, the material. Then they test you and you pass. And they prosper you. They give you what the, the end result of, pr of passing that way. Jesus. Come on. Jesus. So we have to understand that he is a way maker. Yes, he, is. he said, I'll make a way in the wilderness. Yes. I'll make a way. I mean, in other words, I'll make rivers in a desert. Yes. Yes. And people have coined the phrase, he make a way where there seemeth to be no way. <laughs> when you're blind, you don't know the way. But he said, I'm going to make a way for the blind. And if it's dark, I'm going to make it light. If it's crooked, I'm going to make it straight. Because I am the way maker. And the way of faith is what he does. He doesn't leave us to our own understanding. He, he leads us in the paths. See, the path, the way, the way of righteousness. So don't, don't ever develop a nonchalant Christianity. Be active in your relationship with him. Let him manifest as Jehovah. See, he's El Shaddai. The world is running according to schedule. It makes no sense in panicking. It's been worse before. You got technology to get so many people helped, but back then when they had the bubonic black plague, 23 million people died. There was not, there was no help. That's right. Just morality is running rampant. But how about before there was a Bible? Every man did what was in their heart. It was much worse, people. <laughs> Somebody say, the way maker has made a way. And I'm opening up my eyes. See, we got to open up our eyes, the eyes of our faith. And I think I wrote another definition. Oh, yeah. Act. Somebody say, act. It's a hard word for me to say, act. You know, so if I say it wrong, just if I use the word ax, go like this. Ax it. No, act. <laughs> to act is to do, yes. Yes. behave, or perform. Yes. He said, Moses knew my way, mm -hmm. my method. Mm -hmm. The children of Israel knew my actions. They saw what I did, yes. and they failed. See, knowing God's act is not going to keep you. Because if you're not careful, you'll begin to compare yourselves to others and say, well, you did it for sure. Why won't you do it for me? And God will look at you like, see, we have to be careful not to just be moved by acts. See, we walk by faith, not by sight. Because, you see, God wants to bring us to a place where he can do it. Yes. But if we act like babies, what does babies do? They scream until you act. Yes. And then what you do? You don't comfort them. You stick a bottle in their mouth, you baby. <laughs> but if the baby start talking, mommy can have something. Oh, baby, you, you talking. What, what would you like mommy to give you? But if you're like, ah, ah. <laughs> Like Maggie from The Simpsons. I know you're still here. Now go real quick. Proverbs 15, 24. <laughs> I don't hear that one page move, but I'm going I'm to I'm take courage. <laughs> Proverbs 15, 24 says this. The way of life is above to the wise. Somebody say, the way of life, the way of life. is above to the wise. That he may depart from hell beneath. See, the way of life is above. The way of hell is beneath. 
God told the children, God told Moses to tell the children of Israel, I set before thee life and death. You choose. You see, the way of faith would say, I'm going to choose life. It's above. I'm not choosing death. I'm not choosing hell. I'm choosing life. And it's called the way of life. John 14, 6 says this. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus said, I, 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 I am the procedure and the action. See, we have to get to a place where we stay young in God. It's amazing how just, just saved Christians have more joy than seasoned Christians. And I can tell you why. They forget. They become battle weary. And Jesus is not going to have mercy on you if you don't act in faith. Go, go, let's, let's look at this before I start to close. Oh, I said it once. That means I only got six left. Go to John, where we at? John 14, verse 1. Watch this. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there ye may be also. And whether I go, now watch this. You got to watch this. I need you to watch what he says to this guy. Because many times Jesus is saying this to you and you don't even think he told you. Wow. Look what he said. He said, and whither I go, you know. In the way, you know. What? <laughs> where I'm going, in the way by which I'm going, you know where I'm going. And many times in your walk with God, you know where you're going with that. You know where God's going to take you with that. You keep acting in faith like that. Watch God, in the words of Elder Mike, watch God do it. Won't he do it? Is that how it goes? Won't he do it? Whither in the way. He's, he's telling you, you already know what I'm about to do. Don't act like you don't know me. See, and that's the problem. We get old and we, we forget we know the way. That's why young people, when they get saved, they come here to work. They're like, ah! And you that heard it 40 times, you're like, because you battle weary. He said, suffer. Yes. You know, let the little ones come to me. Do you need to act like a child every Sunday? Yes. You act like an old head. I heard that last week. That was a good word. Good word, Pastor. Good word. Man, you better hear it like it is. Jesus said, hey, listen, people. I'm the way. The truth. And the life. He said, whither, whither I'm going in the way, you already know it. See, but we got to get to a place where we walk the way of faith. Where we know what's going on. It'll make you happy. Verse 4. And whither I go, you know, in the way, you know. Thomas saith unto them, Lord. We know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto them, I am the way. <laughs> I am the truth, the and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And watch this. Later on in the discourse, Peter says, show us your father. <laughs> um, no, J the Thomas says, show us your father. Jesus said, have I, been, have I not been so long with you that you don't, you don't know my father? When you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Many times we forget he's the way maker. Come on. 
He said, I already told you the way I'm going to do it. And that's why we need the full counsel of God. You can't be relying on the preacher. He might not have a message for you. He might have a Bible story. He might have a moral topic. But if you knew the way maker, even a moral topic will sound like an answer. He said, you know me. But Thomas was real. I don't know you that well. See? And, you, and, we, and we, we're in this place where there's a way. There's a procedure. There's a road. And then, and then there's an act. We have to do something once we know about the way. You can't go around slapping people in the head talking about Jesus loves you. Come on. I learned the personal hygiene lesson that my breath can blow my testimony. I only had a, I had like a dollar fifty, I had like two dollars on me. And I'm driving, I'm going to a meeting, and I had like my Pastor Rich looking and stuff. I said, but if I open up my mouth, it's going to be Pastor Dragon. And I remember, you know, Mother Perkins, she buys me these, these little bottles. I said, well, let me call her. She might have an extra bottle for me. Then I saw the, the store in the corner. <laughs> Took my last dollar fifty. See, I knew the way. And I had to make an axe. I had to turn my way. I could have just said, well, praise God. They just have to not breathe when I'm talking. <laughs> you see? Once you know the way, you got to make the act. The way to get rid of my bad, stinky breath. Go in that store, spend the money, perform the act. God, you know the way. You know you have to stay in faith. Keep believing. Keep speaking. Act like it. Come on. Yes, 